Okay, this video is called uh, Back to the Wall for obvious reasons. I get asked a lot about the, you know, the, the body movement. You have more movement than Lee Como, or you have more movement than someone else. Well, that's because I do. Um, it's not C-motion. It's, it's really what I've learned over the years, and it's similar to baseball. And the way you get the, mo the, the um, motion, you know, when I stand to the wall, I pull my arm up, I slide into the wall, and then I extend my arm. Another way of really feeling that movement, though, is to stand backwards to the wall. Okay, your back to the wall. You'll feel your tailbone just barely touch the wall. And you fold that arm up, and your tailbone goes backwards, slides backwards onto your right leg. All your weight goes to your right leg. It's just a movement about that far of your tailbone. Okay? And then what you do is your arm comes down, you slide forward onto your left leg. So it's a kind of a sliding motion. It's, it's like this. Okay? And if you do it correctly, when you come through, basically you come up on your left leg and then your foot drags. Another view? So you have the tailbone. You fold your arm up, it goes this way. And then as you come down, it goes this way. Okay? It's like this. And then the arm comes and it pulls your leg through with this action not a conscious action that way. It just pulls you through. I'll give you one more view of it, but that's a great way back to the wall of getting the feeling of exactly what you're doing. People who do the PGA hip turn struggle with my motions when I try and show them to them. They'll struggle with C motion and other things. And it's always because they're hip turning real fast. You know, and if you do this, it'll give you the feel of what I'm doing. It's really what I'm doing. There's portions of it in, in Sioux Motion as well, but Lee Kamo can explain that better than I ever could. And uh, I'm going to attach this to a video where I'm on the range. You know, watch that. Watch the motion. I have a lot of lateral movement, but you don't get distance without some lateral movement. You have to have something moving this way, a bat, whatever. You've got to have movement forward in order to get distance. A lot of people struggle with it because they're spinning in place, you know, and they're, they're kind of trying to get some rotary motion going. But that's going to harm you. Long term, it doesn't work. And it's not as long as the uh, methods that we're teaching, um, the side-on leveraged movements. I hope that helps a little bit. Um, I'm going to give you another quick view just here in a second. And we'll face the wall this way. And do the same thing. Up against the wall. Right. Arm goes up, tailbone just slides back a little bit. You sit on this leg. And then arm comes down and it's all blended motion. You slide that tailbone about this far on the wall. And then through. So it's true. Real fast, it looks like this. Keep this foot down till about here. The motion alone. The tailbone turns this way, and you'll, or your spine turns this way. And then this. It's a great way of feeling, it really is. You get more of the idea. You know, you can even roll a little bit against it. But I prefer to slide it and slide it. And then Absolutely perfect.
Baby cot could lay a blanket on it. bit right. Long. Dead down the middle.
winds uh, about 20 away, 20 into me, 20 into me. Um, pretty strong, as you can see. Really blowing. So anyway, um, it's good practice. I used the line. Hit left or right, depending on what I'm trying to do, how I want to spin it. Um, it's a combination of kind of a hit move I show down the wall, which is kind of Austin esque, and then the C motion, uh, arm motion, which is you know up and down like this, and then into turning and then straight. So, anyway. Uh, Good practice. Talk to you later.